All right, two questions, Coach. Uh, first question on four, right in the back there. Uh, Dave Schilling, Bleacher Report. This is the third straight time you guys have lost game one to the Warriors. What is it about this first game that makes it so hard for you guys to, to take? Um, they're tough at home. We know that. I mean, she probably lost nine games or eight games over the course of three seasons. So we know coming into this building they're going to play. It's going to be, you know, a tough game for us. But um, just getting a chance to, you know, see how they play, the style of play, how fast they play. Um, you can't really simulate that in practices. You know, you got to really get out here and get a chance to do it firsthand. And um, when we experienced that and we were able to adjust, um, we were a lot better. Try to get Dave there in the back. Ty, uh, Dave McMenamin, ESPN. You spoke to us in the days leading up to this series that you guys would have to try to combat against the spurts that they're capable of. Late in the third quarter, it's a 12-point game. I think 90 seconds later, it's a 22-point game. What went wrong in that moment for you guys? Well, when you play on a good team like this, you can't give them 20 more shots um, than you have. You know, having 20 turnovers and not being able to get back and get your defense set, um, they really take advantage of that, especially at home. And they thrive off turnovers and getting out in transition. Oh, in Modess, KPIX. It seems like early in the game, Tristan Thompson was kind of neutralized. He only had 22 minutes for the entire game. What schemes, what, what led to that? Where are you at? All the way in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, now what'd you say? It's, <laughs> I said it seems like somehow Tristan Thompson was neutralized tonight. Well, you know, he only had 22 minutes in the game. Yeah, um, you know, once we got down, you know, we decided to go to, you know, the offensive lineup, the offensive unit. And, um, you know, with Tristan, he's a, he's a monster on the board. So they're putting two or three guys on him to, to block him out so he can't rebound the basketball. And that's what gave Kevin a chance to get five offensive rebounds. So um, they're doing a good job of trying to keep him off the, off the glass. And um, we got to find other ways to get offensive rebounds like we did tonight. Robert? Coach Lou, right here. Robert Latow, Black Sports Online. Um, you guys had a lot of turnovers, especially in the uh, the first half. Uh, do you contribute that more to the Warriors' defense, or just been a little sloppy after the long layoff? Um, probably a little bit of both. Um, you got to credit their defense. Um, that's why they're number one team, number one defensive team. Um, but we had something that we could we could control, and um, we talked about before we come into the series. Like our best defense is going to be our offense of taking care of the basketball. Um, not a lot of turnovers, and. Um, Tonight we had 20. That's way too many against his team. Next question, Joe in the back. Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. Ty, you mentioned at the top the Warriors' speed. Where do you think the speed um, made the biggest impact, if it was turnovers or, or trying to get to their guys when you were on defense? Turnovers. Um, when you turn the basketball over, they really make you pay. And then, you know, we can play a lot better. I know we will play better. And when we're not making shots and they get off, you know, in transition off of rebounds and stuff like that, they're tough to guard. So. You know, I know we can play better, we will play better, but we got to do a better job putting the ball in the basket. Third row on your right, Coach. Coach Chuck Nevius from Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Uh, LeBron had eight free throws in the first quarter. He had four the rest of the game. Would that be something you'd be encouraging him to drive to the basket? He's one of the best in the league, obviously, doing that in the in game two. Yeah, just keep attacking. You know, they don't have a lot of shot blocking on the floor. So when they go small, we can get to the paint and get, you know, pretty much anything we want. So they do a good job of collapsing. And then we got to kick out and we got to make shots. But with him being aggressive, getting downhill, um, it really helps our offense. Jason along the wall on the right. Jason Lloyd, The Athletic. Kevin had a Durant had plenty of dunks in the first half. Uh, it looked like guys were concerned about getting out to the shooters, and it left the lane wide open. How do you, how do you handle that in transition? And, and what is what is the goal there, when <laughs> when you got Kevin running free and shooters on the wing? Um, yeah, we kind of did something. One of our game plans was kind of backwards, but <laughs> but when Kevin Durant has the ball, you don't want to leave him and you know get to shooters, but. Um, I thought that got him going early in the game. I thought he got out in transition, got four or five dunks early, and it just kind of opened everything up for him. So um, we got to make it much tougher on him. Can't, can't give a great score like, like Durant, you know, easy baskets like that, especially in transition, especially early. So we got to do a better job of taking that away. So was that, was that the idea, to stay with the shooter? You said the game no. plan was backwards. Yeah, well, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Standing a little further down on the right. Yeah, here, Coach. Steve Futterman from CBS News. Uh, obviously, there's no team that's unbeatable. At the same time, you know their record right now in the postseason. They have not lost a game. 
How well is this team playing? I know it's tough to answer that when you've just been beaten by them somewhat soundly. How well is this team playing right now? And does that record reflect how good this team is right now? Yeah, they're the best I've ever seen. Okay. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> they're the best I've ever seen. Okay, which, okay, okay. I mean, no other team has done this, right? Yeah. So, you know, 13-0 and... Um, they can they constantly break records every year. You know, last year being seven three and nine, this year starting playoffs thirteen and zero. So um, they're playing good basketball, but we can play better. Thank you. Any other questions for coach? Thank you.